size of them shoes on the sled on the outer stair door. Mum, Mum, have you seen Tracy? Uh, no. Happened she's in ladies doing a lippy. <laughs> You're a married man again. How does it feel? Well, you know, it feels good. You don't sound that thrilled about it. Oh, we've been married before, haven't we? Uh, can you um, say she's in the toilet? Oh, are you missing her already? That girl will keep you on your toes. <laughs> What's that? A tiramisu. I love tiramisu. Coffee trifle, isn't it? <laughs> Well, there's a bit more to it than that. Mm. Pound of cake, is it? Uh, sponge with buttercream and red currant jam. <laughs> Your fruit platter looks scrumptious. Well, it's so difficult to pace yourself out, isn't it? Drink that. You need to lighten up. You're all tense. Don't do that. No one can see. You don't know who can see what. I thought maybe we could slip up to my room when the speeches are done. Do you want to get us caught? No. Stop it. Right? I'm warning you. Hello. I thought you'd got yourself locked in the ladies. I was about to set out on a bridal rescue mission. <laughs> Where's Steve? Oh, he's mingling. The food is fantastic. Robert has done a fantastic job. And don't you look wonderful? Flushed with happiness. <laughs> There you are. Well, we could start the buffet and then uh, we could do the speeches. Yeah, um, actually, Steve, I've, uh, I've changed my mind about that. I'd like to do a speech. Well, you want to do a speech? Yeah, I really would. OK. Right, OK. Uh, uh, well, uh, let's eat. So how long has he been planning all this? Oh, it was all very spontaneous. And he knew he didn't want all the traditional rig and roll and all that lot. Could have discussed it with me. Ah, uh, yes. But then it wouldn't have been a surprise, would it? How did you get on at the dentist? What? I thought you went to the dentist. Oh, no, hygienist. Oh, yeah, 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 it was fine. Oh, I hate it when they do that scrapey thing. Cos right through me. Yeah, um, I might need to go back and get some more work done there. Mm. Tracy's gonna kill me. Actually, she might kill Daniel and all. And Ken. I can't believe Daniel planned all this for me. He did it because he loves you. Maybe we should be getting back to the garden. Beth said she'll text as soon as she knows ready. She did like it, didn't she? Oh, she loved it. I don't know. I mean, she seemed a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, well, it is a bit overwhelming. Find out you get married in half an hour. Especially when you just come back from the dentist. I just wanted to do something so amazing that it'd knock her socks off, but I don't know, maybe I went too far. No, don't be silly. She thought it was great. You knocked her socks off. You think? Defo. Oh, it's Billy's speech for the ceremony. I knew he'd come through for me. I just want to make this a perfect day. No pressure, then. I don't know which one of us is more nervous. That's me. What a promise. I won't let you down. I know you won't. She'll text, yeah? As soon as we're ready for kickoff. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I am starving. And Robert has surpassed himself. I mean, I like hot pot, but this is nice. Are you missing Beth and your family? No. Hey, we are married. And I, for one, couldn't be happy. Yeah, now, listen, don't get overexcited. But I do have a surprise for you later. Try the chicken. Don't know where Leanne is, do you? No, I'm a little ma'am. Um, I think she went out for a bit, actually. You know, get some fresh air. Why are you being so grumpy? Look, this is my son's wedding day. It's not a game. <laughs> do you mind if I steal a moment away with the big man? Sure. Go check out the dessert table. <laughs> you all right, Elizabeth? Uh, yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I'm amazed it's all gone so smoothly. To Steve and Tracy. I'm surprised there haven't been any fireworks. 
Well, apparently, Tracy did order fireworks and a 21-gun salute, but the local farmers vetoed it, so they did. <laughs> I've been thinking. Well, now, you know how dangerous that can be. Yeah, especially when you know what I've been thinking about. Oh, well, I am intrigued. I don't know. Maybe it's the romance of the day or bubbles have come to me yet. But, yeah. Maybe you and me, we should have another go. If you still think, it, do you not think? I think it's a wonderful idea. Any idea of what you've done? OK, give him a break. Look at the state of him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you realise I've been suspended? What? Complaints at the hospital. Investigations. Call Max death all because of him. Big deal. If you've been suspended. I've got a bloke who wants to kill me. Man. Good. Good. Could do something to cheer me up. Can you two just give us a rest? You know how hard I have worked, how many hours I have studied, how many exams, and you can walk in and ruin it in two minutes. Listen. I'm sure it's not as bad as all that. He should have rang an ambulance. How difficult is that? You know how to use a phone. He was frightened. Hey, hey, look. This is one of Ronan's thugs, yeah? Can he even get to me when I'm in custody? <sighs> Maybe you should take a look at him. He's fine. Let him bleed. <sighs> he's, he's gonna get me, Mum. I know he is. I know he is. He, I have to leave the country today. Are you absolutely sure? Well, if you and Tracy can make it work. No, but it's you and me, Dad. Steve, life is a gamble, right? And if you don't buy a lottery ticket, you can't win the jackpot, can you? Well, maybe this is going to be a lucky day for both of us, then. Hmm. Right. Back in a bit. I had to kiss her. I didn't want to. About me. What about you? She left you to rot in prison. I love you. I want to look after you forever. You said that's what you wanted, too. Well, it is. What are we waiting for? It's having a cheap tart got what she deserves. Oi! Don't say that. What? You don't know what love is. Elizabeth and I love each other in ways you couldn't even imagine. Real love, not some stupid infatuation. Look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that, OK? Is this on? One, two? Can you hear me? OK. Uh, well, first of all, I just wanted to thank you all for coming today. Apart from his father-in-law and our brothers, uh, best mate. And I know some of you might have seen me do this groom thing once or twice before, but make the most of it, because I won't be doing it again. I'll second that. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life um, along the way, but uh, what can I say? Uh, I'm a slow learner. <laughs> and uh, you might not believe it, but we had a little bit of a wobble earlier on today, didn't we? And, listen, I don't blame you for not trusting me, uh, not with my track record, but um, I just wanted you to know that this is forever. Um, well, I know Tracy wanted to say a few words, uh, but we do have a little bit of a surprise for you, and I have been working very hard to keep it a secret. Uh, and I have been practising very hard, and I, uh, I think we are ready. Music, please. Sure? Yeah, this is what really I'd to Hey, Leah. Mr. Buffet. Tracy knows it's like Steve. Yeah, well, that was ages ago. No, we did it again. And she knows. And <laughs> she's still in one piece. She just locked me in the broom cupboard. One of the cleaners locked me in. <laughs> oh, you look amazing. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> He won't. His love will keep her aloft. Maybe they've talked. Maybe she's forgiven him. Uh, that's Tracy Bowman. 
She's not going to be too late in that dress. <laughs> yeah, he's the man. Please, please don't do this. Do what, Leanne? Tell everybody what an old slapper you are. Yeah, um, I think it's about time that little Oliver found out what his mummy was really like. You know, the Battersby bike. She can't find a man of her own, so she steals other people's husbands. Twice. Right, that's it. Oh, no, 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 you don't want to do this. Yes, I do. Just, just, this is my fault. Just punch me again. Oliver, grown-ups are supposed to tell the truth, aren't they? But your mummy and daddy are just a nasty pair of little liars. And your mummy is really desperate because every single bloke she goes out with either, I don't know, walks out or dies or dates a sister. Right, that's it! Not the key! Oh! Oh! Back here and you're making a right seat! Well, somebody out there! Come on! Another wedding, another cat fight. Hey, come on, this is not good, this is not good. Get off! Go ahead, go ahead! You're not supposed to be filming, you're supposed to be breaking it out! I missed the first punch, this is for Sal. Stop it! <gasps> She looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, she does. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me. It started out as a crazy idea, but then the more I thought about it, the less crazy it seemed. You've been very busy. Not just me, everybody here. Right, let's get this show on the road. I was really chuffed when Daniel asked me to officiate at his wedding. And I'd like to start by welcoming everybody here and saying thanks for all the hard work that's gone into making this possible. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> yeah, you do really well. I will admit, though, I am a bit nervous. I'm used to running out on that pitch in front of thousands of people in my buzz of the bee suit, but this is serious. Luckily, a good friend Billy has helped prepare me for this big match by writing down a few words on the subject of love and marriage. If someone you don't know comes up to you and you don't know what to do, if they offer you a lift, a treat, or a sweet, or to show you a puppy you'd love to meet. You may feel nervous and not want to go, but always remember, it's not rude to say no. Now, I'd like to suggest five ways we can all stay safe. For example, in the park or at the swimming pool. That's Billy's Stranger Danger speech. I've heard him give it out at our school. <laughs> he sent you the wrong speech. All right, sorry. Do you know what? Maybe it's more in keeping if I say what I think in my own words. Win. There are no winners in the affairs of the heart. God, is that blood? We're called drama. Well, you taught her a lesson. Violence never solves anything. Adam Barlow's taken Oliver outside. He says he'll run him home if you want. Did I make a show of myself? Did, did I make a total show of myself? Uh, well, I'm defending the house of Battersby. Did I win, do you reckon? Yeah, edged it on points. Why don't you come through to the kitchen and get yourself cleaned up? Sorry about the cake. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Why do I always do the same thing? What is wrong with me? Never worry, son. Join the club, sure. If they were doling out prizes for getting people in a one on holy mess, well, you and I'd clean up so we would. Well, listen, I'm glad you and Mum are giving it another go. Where is she, anyway? I'm not sure. Where's Hannah? I don't know. 
I best go and see. We'll keep an eye on him for you, Jim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like this, you know who your mates really are. <laughs> Did you film the fight? Yeah. That's all. Yeah. And no one got hurt. It's only cake. It's a disaster. Like my flipping life. Hey, uh, you haven't seen Elizabeth or Hannah, have you? Uh, no, sorry. I think you may have upset someone. How's that, Adam? I found this in your van outside. Rest in peace, Ryan Connor. This is Ronan. I know what he's like. Trust me, this is only going to get worse. I've left all over in the car. And they call it puppy love. Oh, I guess I'll never know how a young heart really feels and why I love her so. I think it's clear what Donnie's saying. It's very easy to love a puppy. They're so soft with the big eyes and the floppy ears and the way they stumble about like they're a little bit drunk. But real love, the kind I have for Beth and Craig, has to last a whole lifetime. So I suppose the only advice I can give to Daniel is never ever forget Sinead is not a puppy. Well done, Kate. It was beautiful. <laughs> Deidre was a great fan of Donna Young. Look at me here, I'm welling up myself. <laughs> But I think it's time we hear from the two people this day is all about. Daniel. Thank you. He's so beautiful. I think some of you know that I didn't exactly have the best start in life. I found it difficult to make friends, to trust anyone. Too scared, too immature. I'd resigned myself to never finding anything like this. I never expected to be happy. But you changed everything for me. For the first time in my life, I feel truly loved. Um, I can't believe you did this for me. All of you. And I really don't know what to say. Apart from, thank you. And, I promise, whatever happens, I will always love you. Well, I think we're into time, Addy Don. So there's only one thing left to say. Daniel, Sinead, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. You're not going to whip me again, are you? Listen, I really think he's suffered enough. Oh, no, Dev. He could never suffer enough. Well, maybe more mental abuse than physical violence. Tim! Hmm? You filmed the fight. The cake fight, right? Y yeah, yeah, I did. I did for Sal, yeah. Mm. Send it to me. OK. Did you get the punch? No, it was too fast. Right, well, if you don't mind, I'd, um, I'd like a private word with my... my husband. I'll, I'll be OK. We're just there. Don't hit him again, will you? I'm, um... No, seriously, Steve, don't stop. You're pathetic. Do you know that? But we're married now, and if you think that Michelle was tough in the divorce settlement, you haven't seen anything yet. Every minute that I'm here, he could be planning to have me killed. Don't answer that! Could be Ronan's hitman. Hello? Yeah, okay, come down now. Delivery. It could be a trick. Oh, it could be my shirt, Ryan. Ali. Right, if 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 you lend me the money, then I can go back to Ibiza. I can hide out there. I know people that live in the mountains. Sweetheart, you can't go anywhere without your passport, can you? Eh? Hey? As soon as it comes, we'll sort something out, but these things take time, oh, don't they? You might as well just paint a target on my chest and stand me out on the balcony. Hey, darling, how's the wedding going? What? What punched him? Yeah, well, things are pretty tense here and all. On the van? Yeah, uh, yeah, <clears throat> we're okay. Um, what time do you think you can get away? 
Okay. Well, um, leave your phone on, will you? Okay. Speak soon. Bye. You have to help me get to Spain. For you. What? To left one on Robert's fan and all. And the caring gangster says it with flowers. Robert, no! What the fuck, Lepage? No, stop Come it! On! Stop it! Right? This needs sorting out and this is not helping! Right. I want you both to stay here. Lock the door and don't let anyone in. Where are you going? I'm going to see Ronan. No, you can't. Look, Ryan, he's after you, not me. I, maybe I can talk some sense into him. Good luck with that. I mean it. You stay here. Hopefully Robert will be back soon. OK. OK. Right. Hey. Trying to fight, eh? Looking for you everywhere. Needed to get away. So, uh, have you seen Elizabeth? You still love her, don't you? I'm sorry, I was really worried about you. Worried what I'd do. You really are a lovely wee girl. And you've helped me a lot. But you still love your wife. I never expected this to happen. You said you wanted revenge. Yeah, I know. I've seen the way you look at her. I've seen it. I should have realized ages ago something was going on. You don't hate your family. You love them. I can't compete with that. Not with my stupid infatuation. No, no, I didn't. I'm gonna pack my bags. Go. You're a very special person. Maybe one last kiss. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>